here it is motorhome versus trailer part two Hey guys, it's Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So this is a follow-up video on our part one travel trailer versus motorhome, and we are going to link part one up above. So in this video, we are going to give you even more reasons to help you decide travel trailer or motorhome. Okay, so let's talk about bill quality. For the most part, and there's always exceptions to the rules, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a higher bill quality on motorhomes, and this is for several reasons. Most motorhomes are gonna be on some kind of commercial grade chassis, whether that's a diesel chassis or a gas chassis, it's gonna be made commercial grade, right? So it's gonna be heavier duty, you're gonna have bigger tires, you're gonna have bigger wheels, you're gonna have a better suspension, et cetera, et cetera. With that heavier chassis that comes on a motorhome, you're gonna have the ability to use heavier grade materials, better sidewalls, studs, you know, framing, all that kind of stuff that's gonna go into a making a better build, which is usually heavier, you're gonna get on a motorhome. And inside too as well, the floors, mm -hmm. the counters, all those things. All right, next one is parking options. So we're gonna speak from experience. Uh, parking our trailer, we were newbies, it was a nightmare, right? If you have a, a little guy, Max, for example, parking's gonna be pretty easy. For us now, with the motorhome, 37 feet, it's pretty easy to park. Yeah, and again, this is gonna be just our experience, and this, is, this has a lot of variables. If you get a small unit, you know, a, a 10-foot trailer with a Volkswagen, that's gonna be easy to tow around. On the flip side, if you have a 45, foot diesel pusher with 34 foot stacker trailer behind it yeah that's going to be more of a challenge so again if you're just going straight just a motorhome and then a car trailer setup the motorhome is usually going to be easier to drive easier to reverse easier to park etc et etc right when you turn that motorhome that's the way it's going with the trailer as you know it's not and that's what i found to be difficult so again it's totally situational and some of you may not really give a crap about this but there are certain places that you can park that only class a's are allowed as we talked to uh, andrew Steele on our past video about these class a resorts right you can only get in with that so if you like the you know the elite places the travel trail you're just not going to get in there so it's just something to think about now on the flip side we could say the same about national parks mm -hmm. so now if you have and we, we've experienced this so we went to tennessee and we're 37 feet which is big but it's not the biggest out there we couldn't get into smoky mountain national park because the max i think was 35 feet so that's an issue why a lot of people might want to choose a travel trailer that's a little smaller or even a smaller motorized is that you may not be able to get access to certain national and state parks. And the next thing is storage. Traditionally, we're just talking about your basic class A motorhome or your basic travel trailer. In most cases, there's going to be more storage on that class A. And that was accurate in our experience. We had a 30 foot, I'm sorry, 33 foot trailer, mm -hmm. and now we have a 37 foot motorhome. Far more storage in our motorhome. And we have a gasser. If we had a 37 foot diesel motorhome, way more storage. You're talking about base storage, cabinet storage. It's just much more. And now the storage the payload capacity so we can carry a lot more on a motorhome because that motorhome again has a heavier chassis so storage payload capacity you're going to have the advantage on the most part with a motorhome so the next thing is convenience and for us this was one of the top reasons we went with a motorized because again, everybody knows you know, if you're newer, Izzy has to pee all the time. So we would be stopping every two minutes with that trailer. Now I'm in the driver's seat, he goes. We can eat while we're driving, well not while we're driving, but we could um, have those options that we didn't have before with the trailer. And if anybody watches uh, Josh the RV nerd, he, his big uh, quote is, with a motorized, a motorhome, the vacation starts as soon as you get in the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. 
And that's absolutely true. When we had the travel trailer, it not only was it fatiguing, but you're you're in your car, you're in your truck. It's not the same like when you're driving in the motorhome. You have that big windshield, the music's going, you know, mm -hmm. you're taking everything in. And, and then when you get to the campground, you're set up within like 10 or 15 minutes versus a travel trailer, which is, you know, 40 minutes or so. It took us a long time. A lot of, a lot of curses in the beginning. <laughs> Following up on what I just said about setting up, physical limitations on, on yourself as a person. Now, if you go to these Class A motorhome places or if you just visit, uh, like when we went to the Newmar Service Center, you will find that a lot of people that own Class A motorhomes are older senior citizens. And this is not by accident because having a Class A motorhome is much easier to set up and much easier to handle than having a travel trailer. Next one is safety on the road. Now, really no RV is, is really safe to be driving. Unless you have a Super C or a Prevo conversion, they're just not safe. It's safer, but safer, I, I, right. I'd much rather right. be in my pickup than, <laughs> than a, uh, a motorhome going down the road. Now, talking about safety, I feel, we feel that it's much easier to drive the motorhome than it was the truck trailer combo. Now, is that considered safety? I, I don't know. I just feel more confident. I, it handles better, I have more control when I drive the motorhome. So maybe that's a safety issue. Right, and, and think about it. If you have a motorhome, you have one piece. If you're not towing anything, you have that one box, right? If you have a, t a truck with a trailer, there's way more sway and things that can happen with that. Yeah, with wind and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it definitely, not that it doesn't affect the motorhome, but it definitely affects a travel trailer way more. Mm -hmm. Like you feel yourself being pushed with the wind. So for us, again, this is one of the reasons why we currently have a motorhome. So if you're just landing on this video, be sure again to check out part one of this. Put in the comments, tell us what do you like better, motorhome, trailer, who wins it for you? And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.